let's see if I can make this depth of field business um, a little more palpable to, for you guys. I, I see a lot of you are struggling with uh, the threads and um, the understanding of how this works. So when you're looking at a microscope, the different objectives, the 4, um, 10, 40, and 100, have a different depth of field. So depth of field being the thing from the top to the bottom, what you see as in focus, that's what depth of field, sometimes it's also called depth of focus. Um, it really is a different thing, but for our purposes, you can use them interchangeably. So that's not a big deal. All right. When you um, move the sl uh, the stage, so this is this is should be the simulation of the the stage and the three pieces of thread that obviously have an order here, right? Um, and let's see what happens if you move this into the four eggs. You get because the depth of field is so large, uh, or the depth of focus is so large, uh, you get them all in focus at the same time, and and they all look so closely together that you can't tell who's on bottom and who's on top. Um, and so because of that, what we do is we go at it with a higher uh, magnification lens. And this higher magnification lens has, has a much smaller depth of focus. And I usually look right where they're overlapping with each other. That's the best place to look at them. But as you move this closer, what happens is that you can tell that one of them comes into focus first. And it usually takes, when you're doing this in real life, it takes a little bit, which is why it's hard to do on video. It takes a little bit where you're you know, trying to guess with yourself, do I really see this in focus? And being in focus just means that you see the individual fibers a little better than, than otherwise. So in this case, if you're moving the stage from the bottom up, the first thread comes into the one on top right comes into focus first uh, this is why yeah the one in first comes in uh, comes into focus first and then as you move up the next one comes into focus and then finally the last one comes into focus so in this case you have if you're moving the stage from the bottom up um you would have the um the, the one on the top come into focus first, the one in the middle come into focus second, the one on the bottom come into focus last. If you were doing it the other way around, and this is why I told you in the quiz, I told you the direction in which the state moves, stage moves, because you're moving this, the threads into the line of focus. If you were moving it down, right, if you had started all the way up with the stage and then moved it down, it would go the opposite way, right? The one on the bottom would be first, second, third, right? So, so it depends in which direction the stage moves because you move the, the, um, you move the thread into the line of focus, either coming from the bottom or coming from the top. And in our case, I think we said we were coming from the bottom. So I hope that this helps a little bit um, with, with this depth, depth of field.